and welcome once again to the group exhibit Hydrogen Fuel Cells and Batteries at the Hanover <laughs> Fair 2016. My name's Christine. I'll be your moderator for this talk. Please do come in, sit down. We've got plenty of room. Drinks are on the house. And at any time, if you raise your hand, I'll come around. Feel free to ask questions and join the discussion. Today, uh, we are talking about the commercialization of CFY stack technology. I have three guests here with me today. I have Siddharth Mayer from uh, the Managing Director of Empower. I have Christian Wunderlich, the Deputy Director of Fraunhofer IKTS, and I have Dr. Werner Schulmeier, Head of SOFC Innovation Services at Plan C. Please join me in welcoming our guests. Good morning, gentlemen. I'm lucky to have you all with me this morning. morning. So you're from three different companies. Let's do quickly, maybe three sentences from each company, what your company is, a brief introduction. Today? Empower GmbH. Uh, we are a German registered company with origins in India and the United States. <coughs> Empower has been formed with an idea of commercializing the CFI stack that uh, Planze and IKTS have uh, developed over the past uh, eight or ten years. And uh, we are uh, responsible to take this stack from where it is right now to a commercial level, <coughs> take it global, and uh, the idea is to make uh, Empower a worldwide industry standard. We want to make it a commonplace thing. We want to make sure that uh, fuel cells as a product, uh, which is a wonderful product for uh, uh, power and as well as for the climate, becomes a common thing in every household in urban as well as rural parts of the entire world, including developing countries and developed countries. Uh, so uh, my partner, uh, Mr. Chakradev, who is also here, uh, both of us uh, co-founded this uh, company and uh, we started operations from November of last year. Okay, wonderful. Mr. Wundlich? Uh, I'm coming from Fraunhofer IKTS, and I believe you know this research institute. <laughs> we are involved in solid oxide fuel cell technology for 20 years. Uh, we have <laughs> built systems uh, for uh, seven to eight years and stacks for 10 years, and we are trying to commercialize now CFY technology by technology transfer to the company Empower uh, to making a real industrial product uh, out uh, of this <laughs> rather mature SOFC stack. Wonderful. And Dr. Schulmeier? Yeah, my name is Werner Schulmeier and I'm representing today Plansee High Performance Materials. This division is one of four of the Plansee group and our core competence is powder metallurgy which is a very efficient way to produce metals, uh, the refractory metals, with a very high melting point. And uh, to the group of the melting, high melting point uh, metals, uh, this is encoding the, including the materials which are needed in, semi, in solid oxide fuel sales. And uh, this is how we got involved in this business. And we can say that we already have a 20-year experience in manufacturing components, including mass production. And this is why we are part of this team today. Wonderful. And uh, what is the nature of the partnership? Is it a private enterprise, public enterprise? How did you all meet? How did you come together? <coughs> well, I started uh, with IKTS uh, to develop a SOFC fuel cell product for India. Uh, and we contracted with them in 2012 and we started building the product. And while we were building the product, an opportunity came along that uh, why don't we own part of the supply chain? And stack is a very, very important element in the <coughs> whole process. And uh, Professor Michaelis and uh, Christian, uh, they brought this opportunity to us that uh, we want to commercialize the stack and uh, would this be of interest to you? And uh, 
Uh, as an entrepreneur, the first answer was yes, uh, why not? And we have to do this. <coughs> and after doing our internal research, uh, we realized that owning the stack would be a very interesting uh, phenomena, especially when I'm trying to take uh, power to every village in India or to every small place in Africa or South America where uh, people still uh, get uh, power for four to five hours a day. So we are talking about uh, almost 20 hours of electricity cut. Uh, so we thought uh, that if we can own the stack, we will be able to uh, innovate into this. We will be able to bring down the cost uh, because we own the, the whole technology. And uh, that is how we started uh, working on this. And it has taken us two years uh, of uh, hard uh, negotiations and a lot of paperwork and a lot of legal uh, stories to get it done. Uh, and like I said, uh, last November we uh, formed the company. It is a Dresden-based uh, uh, GmbH company. Uh, so we become a German enterprise now. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, so uh, backpedaling a little bit to go CFY has been around for a while, but just in case people don't know, what does CFY stand for and what is the solid oxide fuel cell in general? A little bit about the technology. Okay, maybe I start from IKTS side. We have been working with uh, Planze uh, for about 10 years uh, in building stacks uh, using this uh, powder uh, metallurgy interconnect. Uh, they have the name CFY, uh, chromium, ferrium, uh, yttrium are the two <laughs> three right. elements and uh, this is the powder you need uh, to manufacture these interconnects. And IKTS is the developer of the stack technology. We uh, provide uh, cells, uh, contacting materials, protective coatings, glass sealing, and building this all together. In a um, lab, basically, we are manufacturing these stacks for five years, and now we have reached a production volume in the low hundreds uh, with this stack, but we feel we have reached the end, what we can do as a research institute, we have to transfer to a technology to an industrial partner to get the volume, to get the cost down, to make the logistics and manufacturing processes. And uh, yeah, as Mr. Wunderlich said before, um, along the chain of the production of this uh, of an SOFC system, it starts on the component level with, uh, and hopefully in the future, with high numbers of these uh, interconnects, which are made from this CFY alloy. And it was, uh, depending on the, on the long-term relationship that we have with IKTS, it was kind of a natural symbiosis that Planzi came in, having the know-how on how about making uh, large numbers at reasonable pricing of these materials and components to team up with IKTS, who is in charge of the development. So the basic idea was to provide a robust stack technology that can be licensed. And uh, we are very happy to have the Mayur Group and Mr. Mayur in, in, in this team. So um, I think we made already, we, we went a, a long way and have a robust stack system, which is actually now available for commercialization. Yeah. Wonderful, and, and that's your heavy responsibility, is taking this technology to the next step. Along those lines, what are your plans for, for starting a pilot production? Where will it be? When do you, when do you hope to open it? Well, we uh, intend to first um, <coughs> understand what our customer uh, needs. So we, we started off uh, <coughs> with the basic process of uh, understanding uh, all the complaints, all the pain points. Uh, of course, I know what is good about the technology, and that's how we got into this. Uh, knowing what are the troubles they go through uh, will help us optimize the stack and will help us integrate it better with the fuel cell system and will also help us uh, put up a strategy for cost reduction. <coughs> and when I say cost reduction, I have ambitious targets. I have, I'm on both sides of the table. I'm also developing a fuel cell system. Uh, so my targets are very ambitious, and uh, we are putting up a plan in place on how we are going to do that, and uh, we have uh, able help from uh, Frano for IKTS and Planze, uh, with Planze also being a supplier of a key material. And uh, they, they are very willing to uh, go the distance along with us to make sure that uh, the cost becomes uh, uh, affordable to people. So that is the first uh, thing that uh, this, uh, we intend to do. <coughs> and parallelly, we intend to start working on setting up our own pilot line. Uh, like Dr. Wunderlich mentioned, they have reached uh, uh, the uh, limit in terms of what they can manufacture at IKTS. 
So in the next uh, 10 to 12 months, we will have a pilot line of our own in Dresden. <coughs> and uh, after which, uh, we will have parallel manufacturing facilities in India as well as uh, in uh, Germany. Uh, so that we could service the markets in Asia, uh, especially uh, Korea, Japan, and India, which is a very huge market. And uh, the German setup will service markets in Europe and uh, the United States. Okay, so you will be doing not only the stacks, but full system integration, a yes. turnkey solution. Exactly. So what does that no. look like for the customer, <laughs> do you, if you know yet? Uh, well, uh, we are in the solutions business. I mean, again, even if I talk of stack, <coughs> if it is not a complete solution that goes to a customer, then I don't think the customer needs me. You know, they can just buy stack from any <coughs> anywhere else. I'm here to make his life uh, simpler. Uh, for the end customer, all he cares is he switches on a button and the light comes out. Yeah. So he's really not bothered about what technology you're using or what not. And he wants that power which is affordable which is reliable, and if I can give it clean and green, then it is sugar to the teacup. And, and that's also the mission of our uh, enterprise is 24-7 power, which is clean, green, reliable, and affordable. And if we cannot do that, we do not uh, want to be in the business at all. So it's very, very clear uh, as far as we are concerned. And uh, that is what uh, brought us also to the Empower story. And uh, how does it look for the customer? <coughs> uh, every customer has a different requirement. <laughs> and I want to be the concierge service for uh, fuel cell systems. So you call me, you need a stack in this formulation in a particular module for a particular application. I will do the R&D and the research for you and deliver you the stack the way it is easier for you to integrate with your systems. Wonderful. Uh, I'd like to open up to questions at this time. Does anybody have any questions that they'd like to ask? If not, I have further questions. Uh, so your cost reduction, is cost the main metric that you're going for? And how do you hope to achieve that more so with technological advances or with volume? Uh, well, with both. Uh, and the reason cost is uh, the main uh, driver uh, right now is because over the past 10 years, uh, Planzi and Franofer have developed a <coughs> stack which we are very proud to say that it is one of the best uh, technologies in the world today. If you talk robustness, if you talk efficiency, if you talk end of life, uh, if you talk ease of use, uh, the CFI stack uh, qualifies in all of those criteria. So the only criteria that remains for us is uh, the cost, and which is a very important thing for our customers. Uh, we, uh, like I told you before, we are trying to understand the customer's needs first. So I'm first trying to conserve his energy. So that is going to be the first level I reduce uh, the cost for him by just optimizing things, just making life simpler, reducing number of hours, reducing number of days that they spend on the system. That itself would reduce the cost. Then we are going into uh, deep research on every component, how we can reduce cost on each component. And of course, uh, getting manufacturing uh, to ourselves, uh, because we are a private enterprise, we get economies of scale when we negotiate with uh, component manufacturers. Uh, that is the second level. And the third level, of course, is having multi multiple manufacturing facilities, one in India, one in uh, Germany. So that gives us a leverage on uh, the cost profiles. Do you envision your first customers being <laughs> in India? <coughs> Well, I envision first customers being uh, people who really want good technology and good energy. Geography is not what we work on. It, it's a good customer who can appreciate technology and who can be our brand ambassador to begin with. OK. So you, you think you'll have the same product offered in, in many different markets? Yes. OK. Uh, can we talk then maybe a little bit more general about what makes CFY so special in the solid oxide fuel cell field? Mm -hmm. So uh, I believe it's a rather robust technology that has demonstrated in many different system configuration that it uh, works with a very low degradation, uh, good cycling capability. This is one of the critical issues of SOFC and also a good thermal stability. So uh, the system is uh, robust. It can work at 780 degree, 820 degree without a uh, large loss in performance. Uh, degradation and lifetime proven is uh, at state-of-the-art level, I would say, uh, 20 to 30,000 hours, uh, but 
Of course, there is still uh, room for improvement, also something to do for a research institute like IKTS to further increase the lifetime, uh, decrease degradation rates, and also in the manufacturing technologies there are some details where we have to continue working with M-Powers, which is uh, joining technology of stacks, uh, multiple joining of stack, several stacks parallel at the same time, this type of issues we will work with M-Power in the future as well. Wonderful. And solid oxide fuel cells are often used for both heat and power applications. It's your primary target. Power? <laughs> if I look at India as a market, uh, the primary target is power because we have a lot of heat anyways there. Yep. Uh, but if I'm looking at uh, Europe as a market, then uh, uh, heat is a primary uh, target because uh, you need a lot of heat here. Uh, so we are trying to innovate and uh, trying to also find out uses for heat. Like for in India, we have a different uh, R&D team which is trying to find out what more can we do with the heat. Uh, so I'm anyways producing heat and I don't want to let it go waste. Yeah. So uh, we, we are working on those uh, technologies as well. And I'm sure over the next uh, <coughs> 12 to 15 months, you'll hear a lot about Empower and also H2E, which is the, our fuel cell product. Uh, and, and there's going to be a lot of path-breaking work that we are going to be doing to take power to where it really is required. Wonderful. Well, I, I very much wish you luck in that endeavor, and I, I look forward to the results. Um, what are your, your goals <laughs> at, the, at the conference, at the exhibit this year? Uh, well, uh, goals are, of course, to understand what the whole world is going after, what people are doing. But also more is to connect with people here and let them know that uh, we are a company now, we are in business, and uh, we are open for uh, ideas for innovations and for orders and of course we do not have a booth here at uh, this year but uh, uh, IKTS and Planze both uh, like I always say that they are the parents of Empower so both of them uh, have uh, Empower stacks displayed at their uh, booths respectively. Wonderful. So Plan C is at C71, just right. here, and Fanhofer IKTS is in a mixed booth. You're over at B40, yeah, B40. if anyone wants to, to get in touch. Um, if there's no further questions, then I would like to uh, thank our speakers for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please do stick around because next up uh, we have the topic implementing hydrogen fuel in local public transport in Hesse. Uh, with Dr. Heinrich Landkamp, the Vice Chairman of H2BZ Wasserstoff and Brennenstoffzelle Initiative Hessen. Thank you very much.